Hello YouTube. MSG Retired here. Just uh, wanted to do a channel update. Um, I guess we'll start off today with Jeremy DeWitt. He had a trial, or not a trial, but a hearing on Friday. Uh, been kind of keeping up with some of the videos that have been released by uh, Jennifer Burton on the Metro State uh, YouTube channel. And one day they're all happy, laughing, and making fun of people. And the next day, Jennifer's losing her mind because Jeremy's blaming her for everything that's going on. I uh, gotta love it. Anyway, he's not going anywhere. He's staying in jail. Um, they denied his bond request, so done deal. Uh, no, no new data. No new anything on the Jeremy Dewitt thing. Unfortunately, I think when this uh, Jury trial comes up and, and wraps up unless he takes a deal. Uh, we're going to be done with Jeremy DeWitt for probably a long time. So, but that's okay because we've still got plenty of Stolen Valor uh, turds out there that we can we can definitely do some videos on. Um, Stolen Valor updates. Uh, I had one of my subscribers sent me an email and had some questions about a friend uh, who he speaks with occasionally who was telling him some stuff that didn't make any sense to him. So he reached out to me. Um, so this guy, let me just look at the email real quick so I get it right. Um, all right, so here's the claims. Uh, the guy claims that he worked at Fort Devens and in the 70s. Now, this guy was born in 62. So the earliest, and I believe he was born in July of 62. So like the earliest he could have ever gone in the military, whether it be active duty, National Guard, Reserve, whatever, would have been sometime after July of 78 which would have made him 17 and required a parent's signature. Uh, most likely he was 18, which would have been 79. So he says 70s, but it would have been maybe one year in the 70s. And he was at Fort Devens guarding nuclear weapons as a National Guardsman. Hmm. What'd they do? Guard it one weekend a month, two weeks in the summer? Uh, there weren't any deployments going on back then for National Guard, so it would have just been their monthly training in their two weeks in the summer. Um, I don't see National Guard uh, guarding nuclear weapons, and I don't think, and I can reasonably say there probably were no nuclear weapons at Fort Devens. Uh, Fort Devens was well known as the Army Intelligence School, at that time. And it was also home of the 10th Special Forces Group from 68 until the base closed in 96. But they usually don't store nuclear weapons on Army bases unless they have some type of a deployment system. The Army did uh, have nuclear weapons back during that time frame. Uh, because I was, when I was stationed in Korea, I was in a Knight Hercules weapons support detachment as an MP. And it was our job to escort the nuclear weapons to the sites. And they were small nuclear weapons that were used on Knight Hercules uh, rockets. So there were none of those at Fort Devens. Um, and so that right there was kind of horse crap. And then he goes on to say, uh, there was a three- or a four-star general who handed him the highest-level security clearance. He still has this, and it's still active today. No, it's not. That's horseshit. Um, security clearances, especially top-secret security clearances, they do expire. The only time you hold a top-secret is when you're in a position that requires you to have a top-secret. If you leave that position then that top secret clearance is, is uh, taken away. So 
why this guy's these are just like crazy 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 things and i'm not going to mention any names and i'm not going to call them out because i'd have to wait another six or eight or ten months to get anything back from mprc on his records uh, but i do have his name and date of birth and i may do a follow-up on that uh, i actually told my subscriber you know feel free to let this guy know i say he's full of shit and if he wants to contact me and debate it well we could do that so just you know subscribers still send me questions they still send me people who are spinning these big tales and uh now it is what it is let's see my new motorcycle trailer from proline llc products out of new hampshire i was supposed to get delivered on the 17th of may and here we are one june still no trailer uh it mainly has to do with some of the upgrades um i did order a motorcycle trailer and it's the 80 inch wide and i'm just going to bang through here and what i had ordered was an upgrade this right here this camper door upgrade well uh, in the email they sent me, they haven't been able to get them. Uh, they haven't trouble getting them delivered. So this was the door that I, I want on the side. I've also got side windows. It's fully uh, insulated. I, I did a lot of stuff to this trailer to make it the way I want it. It's fully R5 insulated. I'll be adding an air conditioner to the top. Uh, and this is going to be my base camp out of Sturges, South Dakota for Bike Week at Sturges this year. So, you know, hopefully within the next week or two, I'll be getting that back. And we'll be going to Laconia. Uh, Laconia is June 12th through the 20th, 2021. We got 10 days, 21 hours, 15 minutes, and 19 seconds. And uh, that's when Laconia starts. So I'm going to be spending a couple of days at Laconia. I'll be bringing you uh, video of what's happening in Laconia this year. Last year, it was nothing. Uh, they didn't even close off the boardwalk. So this year, with all the restrictions being lifted, I'm hoping it's going to be a great week at Weir's Beach for Laconia Bike Week. Uh, and we'll do some riding around the area and some other things. So that's pretty much where we're at as far as updates for now. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, one thing I do want to mention, trolls. Uh, we're starting to pick up some trolls. And we're not. I'm not the only one that's getting them. I'm seeing these troll comments coming up. Uh, you know what? Dude, if you're going to try and troll me in my comments, I'm just going to make you invisible. Boof, you're gone. Uh, you can't see my channel. You can't see nothing. I, I just, I'm not dealing with it. Um, if you don't like my content, don't watch. I don't care. It's mind over matter. I don't mind. You don't matter. So all you little trolls <clears throat> who are now coming out of the woodwork and they're, I don't know. I don't know what their, their motive is. Go away. I, I don't have time for it. Uh, I'm trying to bring good content to my subscribers, stuff that they want to hear and see. And that's what I'm going to continue doing. And if you don't like it, don't watch. You don't need to leave a comment to tell me you don't like it or, you know, I don't care if you don't like it. I'll leave those comments. But when you post a, a, a six paragraph comment on just trying to troll me into some type of an argument, I'm not playing those games. Uh, this isn't high school, so I'm not playing that. I noticed Blue Bacon's got somebody who's calling him out as never being in the military. Whoo, that's a good one. Um, uh, and I'm sure that's going to happen to me too. I, you know, I don't care. Um, it is what it is. Anyway, if you like my content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're doing really good on uh, people watching that are subscribers. Uh, hit the bell notification to get notified when I have new updates or new media I upload or any of my live stuff, uh, premieres, so on and so forth. Give me a uh, thumbs up or a thumbs down. I don't care doesn't matter. It's just letting me know you're there and uh, make sure you have yourself a great day.